Welcome everybody back to Veil of Sound. No, it is not interview Sunday, but we're very happy to introduce you to a new column that we will have here in a regular uh, distance. Um, every few weeks you will get a playlist by none other than the famous and infamous Jose Carlos Santos, <laughs> uh, a man who everybody who w goes to Roadburn like me, everybody knows him. So Jose, thanks for being on the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It, it all started with a sort of a joke, didn't it? Or at least it was a joke for you and I was being serious. <laughs> yeah, but, but, you know, sometimes I shouldn't make jokes because nobody gets them, right? Uh, yes, <laughs> that's true. Uh, Jose was talking on the internet about, you know, if, if I were to do a playlist, a thematical playlist every few weeks, uh, who would listen to it? And I was like, well, we can publish it on Veil of Sound. And I thought, you know, Jose, being somebody who's really well known outside, would say like, "Ah, oh, yeah, we we." And I was like, "Sure, let's do it." <laughs> and here we are. I am more and, infamous uh, than famous, to be honest. But but I I, I, I acknowledge your your compliment. <laughs> uh, and and Jose compiled a first playlist for us that you will also see here on the page, and you can of course directly listen to what he calls. A short introduction. Jose, uh, please give us a little bit of insight or insight on why you chose those songs. Um, I, I was, to be honest, this was shortly after I did a thematic playlist for my, my own thing, The Devil's Mouth. and um, Which everybody should listen to. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, I agree. <laughs> um, and to be absolutely honest, I was having trouble coming up with an interesting theme because the theme I had chosen was winter songs because I'm sick of heat. Live, living in Portugal, especially, I want winter to come. And so I did a, a winter based playlist. And I thought that was a good idea, all modesty aside. And, and then this was just a few days after that, that I had to give this playlist to you. And so I, I was struggling to come up with a theme and I thought, what would introduce me well and not bore the, 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 the people on, on VOS? And these things combined to make an introductory uh, uh, playlist that was the theme, that became the theme. And the short thing, not boring people and taking care of short attention spans that people have the, these days, turned into short songs. I just set myself the two minute limit and from then on, ideas just kept pouring. And here is an example of how to you can choose a, a short introduction. As we were talking before, there could be any other number of songs because there are surprisingly good amount of, of short songs in in is, heavy right? music <laughs> it is not only in heavy music i also when doing a little bit of research um and going through my mental record collection um i remembered for example that frank ocean had a really nice song called solo which is under two minutes absolutely um, and even if you go all... to the old blues guys and everything they do have a lot of short songs as well yeah, yeah. exactly i also uh, remembered that I mean, we all remember what is like a hundred second uh, spit that Eminem directed at President, former President Trump. Yes, <laughs> uh, that was awesome. Um, of course, in the hip hop genre, you find a few things like Earl Sweatshirt and Joey Badass. I can only recommend everybody to listen to the Joey Badass song "Good Morning America" and "America with Free K," so everybody knows what we're talking yes. about. But when I looked at Jose's playlist. First of all, I have to congratulate him for being one of those people who uh, support one of my all-time old, all-time favorites. His hero is gone. Uh, oh. I I, that was already something where he had me right from the start, of course. Uh, one of those highly underrated bands. Uh, they will have a tribute Absolutely. out in a few weeks, which I'm very much looking forward to. Um, and what struck me is that you basically moved along the lines of, let's say, black and hardcore, grindcore, um, a little bit of, a little bit of punk. Mm -hmm. yes. um, Our did violence that happen as well, which coincidentally, or was that also a deliberate choice? It, it was not entirely deliberate, but um, I, I started this by 
just uh, jotting down the, the the songs that were the most close to my heart and yes his hero is gone <laughs> was one of the first bands that came to mind and after i had like six or seven of those that i know must be there on a list with these characteristics it all kind of converged no pun intended because they're not there but they could they could be they there. could be uh, it all converged more or less to these styles, so um, I thought it would be nice. Also because most of these bands have a, a very strong political uh, and social message, and I thought that would be a nice theme, underlying theme at least, to, to, to have in, in the list. And and because, because also, uh, speaking of power violence in particular, I think it's a very underrated genre. Because it's a very boxed-in genre, there are not many power violence bands. It never really developed much, uh, aside from those basic characteristics. But there, are, uh, there's a whole bunch of of bands that can fit that style at least that that are not given the proper value. So I thought that was nice too, and because it's easy to throw a nice curveball once you have three or four songs like that. For example, I, I end with the Daniel Johnston song. That's the most obvious curveball in the context of the list. But yeah. you can then put like a cocaine piss song or something like that, and it feels completely different from the rest. So it's easy easier to create some peaks and valleys if you more or less focus on this genre. But this was all very natural. As soon as the, the, the list started to develop, it went this way almost on its own. <laughs> um. So one thing that he did not fall for, which I love, is the fact that he did not include Napalm Death. Uh, right, that would I have been bet... really obvious. <laughs> exactly. That is That's the, the obvious first song that pops into your mind, right? <laughs> exactly. Everybody thinks of you suffer, uh, you suffer, but why, to be exact, which is exactly. also a complete text of the song. And I looked it up. Everybody thinks of one second, 316 thousandth of a second. Um, everybody thinks about that. A few people will then also think about Electro Hippies and their Mega Armageddon Death Part 3, which was the flip side of that infamous Flexi Disc. Um, I love that, really. Um, and I want to throw in a few others as well that mm -hmm. came to my mind very, very quickly, being an old hardcore kid. Uh, the first thing that came to my mind was not Nile Pump Death, but it was Minor Fret. Minor Fret by Minor Fret. Uh, just a perfect song, I think. Um, Gorilla Biscuits also have a New Direction, which is shortly over two minutes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I also looked up one of the first Sig of It All tracks was My Life, which was also released on a oh, compilation a few years ago by Revelation mm -hmm. Records. And one song that if anybody has, if anybody is listening to this or watching this and has not listened to to Shea Amore's Till Day song, the first track on Parting the Sea Between Brightness and Me, if you haven't done that, either stop right here and go <laughs> to Spotify or wherever you want to go. I agree, that song is amazing. Those, yeah. <laughs> that is that was like one of the first of, of all of those the only one that i considered uh was the minor threat song but but uh somehow i couldn't fit it in the end because i had around 40 something and then i pared it down to 33 and and that was one of the ones that i painfully and shamefully had to leave out yeah. but yeah the other ones all of them very good choices for introduction number two I'm not doing yeah, that. That would be that would be a nice one. Maybe <laughs> I'll make my introduction for the Devil's Mouth. A reaction um, playlist. I like that. <laughs> what what I I like is also that when looking at a lot of your choices, maybe it's just by accident, but I think there are a lot of bands in the on that list who either started or peaked somewhere around two thousand somewhere around the millennium. So there are lots of 90s bands, like you have Melt Banana, you have Drop Dead, mm -hmm. you have Kiss It Goodbye, Discordance Axis. Yeah, Disc yeah. yeah Discordance Axis. Discordance Axis, yeah, yeah. Was, yeah. was that um, just a byproduct? also. Uh, I think it was a super golden age for these kinds of, of, of music that I touched upon yeah. here, wasn't it? Also, um, as I mentioned, um, Threatener, and, and also a, a lot of bands that I didn't put here, but that, that kind of uh, 
like uh, Cobra Noir uh, or, or or even Cursed and stuff like that. Uh, it, it it was kind of the beginnings of metalcore, not the dirty word metalcore, the metalcore yeah, 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 that yeah, yeah. became Converge, etc. Drowning yeah. Man, all all of those bands. Um, Hydra Hat, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> a lot of amphetamine reptile in a way at, at the at the, yeah, the origins of it as well. Uh, so I guess it's natural that that the best songs of of this kind focus there because that was a golden age for this kind of music. There's there's stuff that's older, I think, uh, not many, and a lot of it is is mostly from this century. But yeah, also I I was twenty something years old which was by far the period during which I consumed the most music. So it's also a generation thing. Yes. But everybody, please don't think that here are two old guys who don't listen to anything new. Uh, our friend Jose Absolutely. also included a, a newer band that I love, for example, or a few newer bands that I love. And one example is Islet. Uh, also an amazing track, great band, The Devil Shining on Your Eyes, Out Your Eyes is a great album. Love um, them. So yeah you see that that is not something that is typically millennium or something like that there are still yeah. a lot of bands yeah. out there yeah. and um when jose and i were chatting i told him well you have forgotten one of the most famous or infamous or forgotten collaborations and i haven't told him yet which one it is i'm curious it's a track by a grunge masterpiece early 90s mm -hmm. it's not listed on the back of the album. It's an orange cover. It's Dirt by Alice in Chains. And track number nine is uh, Iron Gland. A little under a minute. And it's not sung by the late Lane Staley, but by none other than Tom Mariah from Slayer. Yeah. So that was something that I was thinking of. And now that I sped it out, I can put it on my short introduction. Yes. Yes, and I might sneakily add it as track thirty-four. It will it will work like a hidden track. <laughs> but that was that was also something that. Oh, no, that's uh, a very good. I, I remember one. that I'll there was that collaboration, um, and I also had to look it up. Um, but I, I I like that track, and I also like the way that they smuggled Araya on a Columbia Records release. Uh, even <laughs> yeah. though I think he was still bound to Def Jam at the time, wasn't he? Smuggled his <laughs> Um So you see, we will have this every few weeks. Um, it's just two old guys nerding out about music from their past and their future and present. Yes. Um, we will do uh, thematical playlists and if you have an idea for what to do next of course write it in our socials either the devil's mouth which is jose's podcast and that you should really all listen to a few episodes are on spotify but you can find it also on the web and i can really strongly suggest suggest listening to it uh he had some famous guys like colin from from amen ra and other interviews that he did very good to listen to and of course, you can also you. leave comments on our socials for Veil of Sound. Jose, thanks for this first short introduction. And I'm already looking forward to your Christmas edition. <laughs> <laughs> There's a good start for something. And there, there will come a terrible idea out of that. Thank you very much for having <laughs> me. And I hope everyone likes this. It's under an hour, so it, it won't take too much of your time. And yeah. I hope so everyone likes thank it. you very much, Jose. Have a good evening. Thank you. You too.